Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salama ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam So we'll continue on our uh, information regarding the manners of relieving oneself And this is the manners that we observe during using the restroom which we talked about a little bit and afterwards Okay So when one, inter uh, when one is finished using the restroom Okay, this is one of the things after, of course. When one is finished, he or she should say, Gufranaka. And that is, which means, O oh Allah, forgive me. They should seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they are uh, finished using the restroom. And the reason why this is, some of the ulama, they explain, some of the scholars, they explain that the reason this is, is because the... <laughs> Uh, when you're in the, the restroom, you're not remembering Allah like other times when you're outside because it's not permissible, of course, to read the Quran in the bathroom, to uh, in, the, in those filthy places, or say Allah's names, or, uh, you know, do those things which have, and have those things which have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names on it and so forth. So since you're not remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that place, the, the scholars mentioned that when you leave the bathroom, that's why you should say, O oh Allah, forgive me. Gufranaka. Okay? And that's from a hadith of the Prophet, وسلم, which is a, an authentic saying of the Prophet. So that's one of the things. So listen up. The second point is when w the manners for relieving ourselves uh, afterwards and during, these are also some of the manners is that it is prohibited to touch your private parts with your right hand okay and that's even if you're a uh, even if you're left-handed meaning that you usually use your left hand for things even you should str you should strive to uh, you know to not to not use your right hand you don't use your right hand Okay, us as right-handed people or those people who are right-handed should not use their right hand and those people who are left-handed, of course, should not use right hand. It's because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in a hadith, he وسلم, said, uh, So in this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, do not touch your private parts with the right hand. Okay, that you shouldn't touch your private parts. So this is a general wahuyabul. Okay, so that means while you're urinating, you should not touch your, uh, your private parts with your right hand. Okay? And then in the second part of the hadith, he said, nor should one clean his private parts with his right hand. And this was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. Okay, so that means when you're using the restroom, you shouldn't use your right hand. Also, secondly, uh, to, to when you're you shouldn't for the men, the boys and the men, they shouldn't hold their private part with their right hand. You should use your left hand. Be quiet. You have to use. You have to. You have to hold 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 yourself with one of your hands. So you should use your left hand. Isn't that right? Okay, that makes sense. So don't, you know, let's keep silent and, and listen. So then, do not touch your private parts with your right hand while urinating. So when you're using the bathroom, do not touch your, your right hand. Do not use your right hand. Nor should one clean his private parts with his right hand. So also, once you're finished urinating, you're finished using the bathroom, uh, even if it's, as they say, number one or number two, the major impurity like urination, I mean the, the minor things like urination, or if you're defecating, defecating like urinating. <clears throat> so if you are urinating, then you don't clean yourself with your right hand. You use your left hand to clean yourself. And you use your left hand to clean it, any part of you that is uh, from your private parts. Okay? Whether it is the front or the back. Okay? Use your... Uh, use your left hand, not your right hand. Everybody's okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And so that's very important. So also, we're going to get to the next point here. Uh, the third point is, one should clean themselves 
with water or stones if he has no water uh, with water or stones or something that is pure okay the things we use to clean ourselves the main thing that is used the most important thing is using water okay the, pay attention pay attention the most important thing we use is water okay water that is the asal of the tahara the the this is the origin of purity water is pure and it purifies uh you use it for purification okay to wash filthy things away and so forth so we use water we use water for the boys they would hold their private parts with their left hand and they would use water use water from their right hand you know from a jar or if there's a hose or whatever but you do all the cleaning you do all the cleaning with your left hand okay that that's how you do it akramakumullah and also you can use of course stones as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al al ahjar he he mentioned that in a hadith and we'll find that hadith here where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said um where's the hadith he said that shh, quiet quiet that if one is using the I'm trying to find the hadith anyway what means in the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when one of you is using if one of you is using the restroom and he is using he's making istij uh istijmar it's called istijmar this means you're using stones to clean yourself that you should use you should use no less than three stones you must use three so if you use if you have to use rocks and this is very real that shows you the perfection of islam because when we're outside a lot of times you don't have water or maybe you're in a situation where you have some water but you need it for drinking or you need it for something else or you have only so much money and you need to buy water for wudu but or, or and 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 for purifying yourself but you don't have that much uh money to do that okay and maybe the water is very expensive so in these cases then you should just use you can use rocks you can use uh three stones the least amount you can use is three okay you can't lose use any less than three and it's recommended it should be wither which means that it should be an odd number so if you use three and you need more than three be careful with your quran put it down just put it down if you need more than three you should use five because it's an odd number yeah you should you should end the sunnah you should end on five no the Prophet sallallahu said three. No, just listen. If you listen and pay attention, you would understand what I'm talking about. So when we use, if you have to use stones to purify yourself, then at the least amount you can use Sahel is how many? Three. Three, ascent. The least amount you can use is three. And you should end on winter. You should end on an odd number. So if we have to use more than three, what will be the next odd number going up? Good. And if we have to, if we have to use more than five, what will be the next? Seven. Friendly. Seven. Good. And if we have to use more than seven, say hell. Nine. Good. So all of those are odd. We try to end on an odd number because that's the Prophet Sallallahu Sunnah. That's the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that when we are, are you listening, um, Liban? Okay, please listen. So again, how many stones should we use? The least amount? Good. Very good. So the least amount is three, and we should end on witr. When the boys are using the stones, okay, that you hold your private part with your left hand, and you use the stone in your right hand. The stone is in your right hand. Because you have to, you can't do both with one hand you understand so you hold the the stone and you use the, the 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 you know lightly not trying to hurt yourself but you use it to make sure that you have no more urine coming out you try to 
clean yourself. This is how we purify ourselves. So if you're using water, you use the water also to purify yourself. You make it so you, you stopped using the bathroom and you try to keep washing until your urine is finished. Okay? And you try to finish that way. And this also for the... Uh, so you, you, you use it like that. And for the girls, you also you try to... Uh, you would use the, the stone actually... Uh, in your left hand because you don't need to, you know, do the same way that uh, the males need to do. And you would try to clean all the, try to get rid of all the filth. Listen, listen. You try to get all, rid of all the filth, okay, with the stones. And you use, if you need to use, if you use three and you still feel like you still need to clean yourself, it's not enough, then you use five, of course. And if you use five, and it's not enough, then you go up to seven, okay? So that's how we use the, the stones to clean ourselves. And you don't, no, it, it doesn't, the stones use like a, a small size stone, you know? A stone is like a rock. It is a rock, it's a type of rock. And you, you want, the purpose you're using it for is to clean yourself. So you're trying to get clean the najasa. You're trying to get rid of the filth that you have from using the bathroom okay so that's okay and that's according to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu and it's very practical because a lot of times say if you're hiking say if you're you're out uh, you're traveling or you're just somewhere and you're away from the 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 restroom there's no water and you have no water well then you you can use the stones and the scholars majority of the scholars they say you can also use those things which also um, that you can use in place of that. For example, if you have no wa no stones and you have no uh, water, then you, of course, you'd have to use something else. Like you might have to use a rag. You might have to use some tissue. Okay, but you have to use it in the way the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described us. So if you had to use. Uh, like toilet paper or something else because you have no other means of course you're going to use it and you use it you use it of course you would take three particles of it three pieces of toilet paper maybe roll it up in a ball and use it water. to get yeah it, i'm saying if you have no water if you have no water then of course you have to you have to make best uh and do the next best thing okay because you have to clean yourself you have to. Otherwise, your prayer, that, that's also like we talked about purification, that your what? Your body needs to be pure. Your, the place you pray needs to be pure. And of course, you need to have wudu or you need to have tahara. So this, if you don't clean yourself, you won't have tahara. You won't be pure. Okay? Good. So that, that's a little bit about using the stones if you have to or water. And, and it's best if you can use both. If you can use toilet paper and water. That's the, one of the best ways to do it. But if you have just water, that is also excellent in accordance to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And if you're in a situation and you need stones, then, of course, uh, that's from the sunnah as well, and you can use the stones. But not trying to hurt yourself, okay? Being gentle with yourself and trying to clean clean yourself. I just told you that, that, that for the boys, you are going to hold the stone in your right hand and you hold your private part in your left hand and you try to like this to try to oh. get the yeah you try to rub you know right. rub the but not hurting yourself you do it to get the rest of the urine out trying to clean yourself okay so you use it softly not not hard not hurting yourself okay and you're not touching your private part with your right hand you're only using the stone to hold it and using and and with your hand taking uh rubbing your the end of your private part on it to clean yourself this is how we clean ourselves okay that's why water is is uh is is very good because you can use the running water and you don't and it makes it easy okay the last point I want to mention, do not clean yourself with animal dung or bones. As the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned, that using, that these things are raji and they're, they're filthy and it's ridges, you know, that it's, it's not permissible that they're filthy things 
and you